Graham Beck, junior co-captain of the Bryant University swim team. Before my 200 breaststroke, I just thought a lot about what I had done that morning in prelims and I actually did very well compared to the rest of my heat that morning and decided to go out as fast as I could in the first 100 yards and I proved to do so with a time of I think 58 seconds that morning and then I bettered that that night with the same strategy of going out in 57 which I believe was a personal best. During the race, I tried my very best not to look around and just stay in my own lane, in my own race, in my own mind. There was a lot going on. Like I could see all of my teammates behind the block cheering and screaming for me. But I tried my best to just, you know, do what I always do, look straight down and focus on what's going on and swim my own race. I definitely took the time to celebrate. After touching, I just put my hands over my head, floated backwards, really kind of soaked it all in. Stayed there for a little bit in the water, splashed around for a little bit. I was screaming, all the guys behind the blocks were screaming. And uh, as soon as I popped out, took some more time to celebrate with them and had a like huge, just, it was almost like a scream off. We just, you know, had one of our like main cheers. I didn't think I really had that amount of energy in me left, but after we did scream our like lungs off, uh, I pretty much hit the deck. I was down on my hands and knees trying to, you know, breathe again. Our fourth place finish meant absolutely everything. We really, obviously, pulled that together in our last day. After my individual gold, I think that kind of gave the guys a push and a wake-up call that we can do this and that carried and showed through our 400 free relay where we were able to place third, um, which doesn't sound like too much of a big deal, but we were in the very first heat for that race and the race included two of the greatest swimmers this program has really seen and that's Nicholas Karadimus and Cam Hessler, seniors now who will be leaving us. The relay also consisted of two freshmen who I talked to prior to the race. Uh, I pretty much sat them down and said, look, Guys, this is really huge. You're swimming with two of the greats. You know, um, it's you're, you're privileged, basically, and uh, you just gotta throw down because you're not gonna be given an opportunity like this ever again. And uh, they really stepped up. We were at, we were going crazy during that race, and then after we watched the second heat, when we'd figured out that we'd squeezed into top three, it just got real loud. It was it was a big big finish. For the men's side especially, I think it's really important that we stay or improve um, with this fourth place finish. This team is absolutely driven by its underclassmen, freshmen and sophomores included. A lot of our talent shows in the sophomore class this year, and our numbers especially are with the freshman men. And if we can keep that up, it just means more numbers and more depth for the team.